Hello. This is a very short excerpt from Rubberhead, which is my first novel in quite some time. Um, it should be available this coming Thursday in the Amazon Kindle app and then in April um, in paperback format. This is a very short excerpt, um, which doesn't give too much away. French isn't impressed, not at all. So Tony told me to fuck off, did he? Grown a set of balls, has he? Well, we might need them soon. I'm just giving you the message, sir. That's right, you're just giving me the message. So don't take the piss looking all smug with yourself. Right, Mitchell? Sorry, sir. I didn't know I was looking smug. Forget it. I'm just annoyed. Here's what's going to happen. Pay attention. You take Johnny and Smackhead. I want to know where that Phil is. Also, the lunatic's been released from hospital. We need to know where he is, too. Then what? Jesus, miss, do I have to spell it out for you? You're supposed to be a clever boy. How do we know the other guys are out of hospital? He wasn't there when I took him Lucas head and flowers. How do you think we fucking know? We've got eyes everywhere, son. Where do we start? We find out where that blonde bitch of Phil's is. He's like a lap dog, wherever she is. He is. Sounds reasonable. Nothing's going to be reasonable soon, mate. I want that bastard Phil dead. And if the nutter had anything to do with it, which I'm sure he did, I want him gone too. Mitch leaves the office and finds black suit and grey suit waiting in reception. Johnny and Smackhead. Smackhead, the youngest of the three of them, has greasy skin and zits, hence the name. We've got to find Phil and the other fella. Mr French wants him dead. Who put you in charge, says Johnny. Don't start with your shit, Johnny. Mr French told me what to do. I don't like it. Maybe you want to go in there and tell Mr French you don't like it. Johnny thinks better of it, puts sunglasses on and drains his cup of tea. He never tasted round those bloody plastic cups. So where do we start, says Smackhead. We find the girl. What girl, says Johnny. Phil's girl. Jesus, how many girls are there? You want to know why you're not in charge? Suck shit, ass kisser. Frenchy's phone rings and he watches the three men leave the building. Vertical blinds pushed aside by thick fingers. He drops the blind, gets a phone. Perhaps it's that wanker Tony calling to apologise. French? Levi, it's Malcolm Bradbury. What's up, Malcolm? I hear you're looking for Phil Barnett. I might be. I might be able to help. Sounds good. What's in it for you? He owes me some money. Quite a bit of money, actually. He's a very naughty boy. I'm all ears. Cheers.